If you're new to GenStat, you're probably wondering, where do I begin? If you haven't already done so, I'd recommend taking a look at the GenStat knowledge base. Here, you can access help topics such as how to get started and how to use GenStat spreadsheets. There's a printable four-page quick start guide to help you get up and running in GenStat quickly. This walks you through opening your first data set, creating a graph, running a statistical analysis, and sharing your results. There's also a library of videos, which we're continually adding to, that will walk you step by step through different tasks and analyses. In GenStat itself, the Learning About GenStat section contains more resources to help you learn. At this point, I would encourage you to follow my actions using your own copy of GenStat. Just pause the video whenever you need to catch up. If you click the third link from the top, this opens a list of user guides and reference manuals. These are all PDFs that you can save onto your computer. These guides explain how to use GenStat to perform analysis of variance, REML, QTL analysis, and so on. I recommend you read this introduction to GenStat guide, as it's a course book for beginners containing step-by-step -step lessons for using the software. I'm now going to introduce you to some of the example datasets. Select File, Open Example Datasets. Here, you can find a variety of datasets that cover many fields such as statistics, medicine, agriculture, and biology. Click Filter by Topic to search for example datasets suited to a specific type of analysis. When you select a topic in the list, the datasets related to that topic are displayed. Select Introduction to GenStat for Windows. The Introduction to GenStat guide, which I showed you earlier, uses these datasets in its tutorials. To find a particular dataset, type the name into the search field. Type iron.gsh. This highlights our required file at the bottom of the window. The description tells you what is in the dataset, which in this case is an analysis of soil samples. Double click the file to open it. Here we have a four column spreadsheet. The FE column records the parts per million of iron in each soil sample, and the weight column records the sample weights. These two columns are numeric variables. In GenStat, we call these variates. These other two columns contain categorical data. Site refers to the laboratory that carried out the analysis, and sample refers to the sample that was given to the laboratory to analyze. In GenStat, categorical data are called factors, and you can identify them in the spreadsheet by the pink background and exclamation mark. Click any cell in a factor column, then hover the mouse over the column name. The tooltip shows you how many levels or categories this factor column contains. Do the same thing with a variate column, and you'll see a selection of summary statistics. The minimum and maximum values, and the mean. At the bottom left of the screen, you'll see two tabs, Data and Window. Click the Data tab, then move up and double-click the All Data folder. Here we can see the same four sets of information as shown in the spreadsheet. Here are our two factor columns, identified by red exclamation marks, and here are our two variates, each identified with a blue V. The Data tab shows you all the data you've loaded into GenStat. So, if I open another spreadsheet, then click the All Data folder again, the columns from my new spreadsheet will also appear here. Now where did my first spreadsheet go? Move the mouse down to the Window tab and click once. The Window tab keeps track of all your open spreadsheets and other windows. 
When I open another window, such as the Summary Statistics dialog, you'll see it appear on the Window tab. If I click on the background, all my windows disappear, but I can bring them to the front by clicking each one in the Window tab. When I close a spreadsheet, the window disappears from the Window tab, but the spreadsheet data stays in memory, as you can see in the Data tab. Now, let me bring your attention to the Summary Statistics dialog. You can see that there's some data in this field. These are the four variates that are sitting in the Data folder over here. The Summary Statistics dialog automatically picks these up from memory. Watch what happens when I put the cursor into the By Groups field. Now this field is showing the factors, the categorical data, that is sitting in the Data folder. When you move the cursor between fields, Genstat ensures that you can only select the correct data type. And speaking of data, I'm going to clear the data that I won't be using from the memory. I just want to keep the four columns from the iron.gsh spreadsheet, so I'll select these other data and press delete on my keyboard. And you can see that they've disappeared from the summary statistics dialog too so I can't accidentally select them. So, let's go ahead and get some summary statistics from our data. I'll move FE into the Variates field. Then, when I move the cursor to By Groups, my factors become available here. I'll select Site, and because I'd like to see a visual summary of the data, I'll select Box Plot down here. Now go ahead and click Run. In the Graphics Viewer here, we have six box plots, one for each site. I can resize the box plots by clicking and dragging the mouse. If I click outside the Graphics window, it disappears, but I can bring it to the front again by clicking the Graphics button. In the Output window, we've got Summary Statistics for the FE variant grouped by the site where the measurements were taken. The output window is where you'll see the results of your analyses. You can save the output to a file or print it out. If you can't see the output because it's hiding behind another window or you've clicked on the background, you'll find it on the Window tab. To bring the output back to the front, double-click it. If you want to clear the output, select Edit, Delete then click Yes to confirm. We're almost done, but there are a couple more things I'd like to show you. The Genstat output uses standard statistical terminology. If you're not certain what a particular word means, you can put the cursor into a word and press the F1 key on your keyboard. The Help system opens at the quartile topic so you can read the definition. Lastly, Bring the Summary Statistics window to the front by clicking it here. Let's take a quick look at the buttons on the bottom left of the window. You'll see these buttons on many windows, so it's important to know how to use them. The Help button opens context-sensitive help for this window. Anytime you're not sure how to fill in the fields on a window, just use this Help button. This red X clears your selections. This Restore button remembers your last settings after you click Run. Clicking it will restore the fields. This Pin button is in the upright position by default. This pins the window open so that it doesn't close when you run the analysis. And you can bring it to the front again by double-clicking it over here. That concludes this video. You can find all our videos by selecting Help, Tutorial Videos.